hey guys welcome back to coding stuff and in this video we'll see how we can create nested recycler view with kotlin so i have created one project as you can see we just have main activity and activity main here so the first thing that i will do i'll open the resource values and themes i'll select no action bar and i'll also change this to I'll change status color bar color to color purple 200 just this one I'll remove this target API as it is redundant now I'll close themes and in the activity main what I'll do I'll write a recycler view this one I'll give it an ID which will be parent recycler view cool and this will be 0 dp and 0 dp width and height then i'll remove this text we don't need it cool so this will be our parent recycler view so let's just go to the main activity and let's just uh, find their uh, find the id of our recycler view so i'll name it as recycler view of type recycler view and in here Recycler view dot set has sorry we need to find its ID first so recycler view find view by ID r dot ID dot parent recycler view and recycler view dot set has fixed size I'll pass it true A recycler view dot layout manager will use linear layout manager for this so linear layout manager and this so this way we'll get vertical layout and now we'll create some model class for our parent and child item so i'll create new kotlin data class i'll name it as parent item and in this what i will pass uh, we'll have three parameters first will be title of type string then we'll have logo sorry logo and this will be of type int then we'll have one list so well we can name it m list and this will be of type list of child items which we will create now so we'll also require one data class for all child items so child item and this will be data class as well and in this we'll just pass title and logo so title well logo this will be of type int you can name it uh, whatever you want you can name it child logo child title title and you can name this parent title parent logo it's totally up to you i find this simpler so that's why cool so then i'll close this I'll close this okay so now we'll create one list so I'll I'll write private where this will be or this can be well so we'll name it as a parent list and this will be equals to array list of type parent item cool so over here we'll call one function which will be add data to list in this function we'll add data to our parent list so i'll create private fun add data to list and in here i'll write parent item parent list dot add so in here we need to pass parent item so i'll write parent item and in the parent item we need to pass three parameters first is the title and then logo and then the list of children's or child items cool so the first uh, you can say parent item will be game development and its logo will be adorable dot console so i have added some drawables in my drawable directory as you can see 
I have downloaded these images from internet so you can also download cool and then we need to pass one list here so for that we will create one list so I'll write while child item child items I uh, will name it as a one this will be equals to array list of child item so now I'll, I'll add some data to our child items so we need to pass child item here and the title first I'll pass C C programming language and I'll name I'll have the drawable as r dot drawable dot c then I'll duplicate this few times uh, four times school then we will use C sharp and this will be C sharp the drawable then I'll use Java here as well Java and then this will be C plus plus and the logo will be C plus plus cool so I'll pass this child items here child items one and this will be happy so as you can see we have added one parent item to our parent list so now I have to add few more items to our parent list so I'll just pause the video and add the rest of the items cool so I have added five items to our parent list as you can see this one is the child item 2 which is Android development then front-end web AI and then back-end web cool so we have prepared our data now we need to create one adapter class for our recycler view for our main recycler view for that I'll click on the package and I'll create new Kotlin class I'll name it as a parent adapter cool and in this we will pass uh, private val I can name it as m list or we can name it as parent list to simplicity and this will be of type parent item inside this we'll have an inner class which will be view holder so I'll name it as a parent view holder and in here I'll pass item view of type view then I'll inherit this class from recycler view dot view holder and in the constructor of the view holder we need to pass this item view cool then I'll inherit this parent adapter class from recycler view dot adapter and in here we need to pass the view holder class so parent view holder alt control l to format the code and then i'll press alt enter to implement the three methods that we get in the recycler view adapter so on create on on bind and get item count so in the get item count we can simply return um, parent list dot size so for on create view holder i have already prepared one layout which is parent item so I'll explain you this layout but it's simple I guess you can also create this and if you want you can just copy this exact code from my github link in the description box so yeah so this one is the material card view the first parent of this parent item layout I added some properties to it as you can see then we have one constraint layout and in the constraint layout I have another constraint layout in which I have an image view inside the card view the logo of parent item then I have the text view cool and then I have and then the inner constraint layout is completed after that I have another recycler view in main constraint cool so this one is our parent item and also explain the child item it's so simple we just have one material card view as you can see here then we have the constraint layout and card view for image cornering you can see the 100 dp radius which makes it circular image and then we have the text view cool so you can see this one is child title tv and this one is child logo iv cool. so cool i'll close this close this and now here i'll create one view so while view this this will be equals to layout inflator dot from 
will pass parent dot context. I'll close the project view. Then we need to pass, sorry, then we need to write dot inflate and r dot layout dot parent item. Then another parameter which will be parent and then the false. Cool, we just need to write parenthesis here and this one. Cool, then from here, here we can just return the parent view holder and in which we can pass this view. Cool. So in here we'll define our views. So we have one IV in the parent layout. So log logo IV. I'll find its ID or let's just be type save. This will be image view. This will be equals to item view dot find view by ID r dot id dot logo parent logo IV. I'll duplicate this line. This will be title TV of type text view and this will be parent title TV. Then we also have the recycler view which is child recycler view. I'll name it as a child recycler view of type recycler view and this will be equals to item view dot find view ID r dot id dot child recycler view. Uh, let me check what was its ID. So it's a lang recycler view. Cool. So now we just need to implement this on bind view folder. So in here what we will do first of all we will create one val for our parent item and we'll get this parent item from our list. So parent list of or from position and then we have holder dot logo IV first we'll set the image so we'll get the image from the parent item dot logo then we have the title dot text equals to parent item dot title cool so now we will call another method which will create or which will inflate recycler view we can do it here as well or let's we'll just do it here for simplicity we can also create that but okay let it be then holder dot child recycler view dot so it has fixed size will pass true here then we will pass uh, the layout manager which will be I'll use grid layout manager here in which I'll pass the context first I'll get context from the holder so holder dot item view dot context and then the another parameter which is span count so we'll display three items in a row so I'll pass three here then we need we just need to set adapter to this child recycler view for that i'll create another adapter which will be named as child adapter and simple here we will also pass one list which will be of type we um, just name it as a child list and this will be of type child item cool this class will inherit from the recycler view adapter we will just create in a class so in our class which will be child view holder so this recycler view will be simple i'll just fast forward the video now So now we just need to implement this on bind view holder and in the on create view holder we inflate the child item here. So in the on bind view holder we just, just set the data so logo set image resource and this will be coming from our child list of position dot logo I'll do or I'll just write it then we have title so text this will be equals to child list coming from position dot title cool so our child adapter class is done I'll copy this inside the parent adapter we will create one uh, variable which will be adapter 
this will be equals to child adapter and in the constructor of child adapter we need to pass one list which will be parent item dot m list so this one is the child item list cool then we just need to set this adapter to our recycler view so dot adapter plus to this adapter cool so this should work but now we need to go to main activity again and we need to set this parent adapter to our main recycler view or parent recycler view you can say so in here i'll write or first we can define the parent adapter so i'll create one val adapter this will be equals to parent adapter and i need to pass the list so parent list and then recycle view dot adapter equals to adapter cool so in this function add data to list we are adding data to our parent list as you can see here and then we are calling the parent adapter constructor we are passing that list here so our parent list will have some data that we added in the function add data to list cool and then we are setting that adapter to our recycler view so i guess everything is done this should work so i'll click on the run button and we'll see it's working or not so our application has been installed and as you can see we have the game development as a first item let me just show you the list from here so game development is our first item then we have android development as a second item of parent recycler view then we have front end cool then ai and then back end wave and the child items are also correct c c sharp java c plus plus then kotlin xml java javascript html CS. so i guess everything is working and i will provide source code in the description box so if you have some errors you can check with that and also in the next video uh, we will create one expandable recycler view with nested recycler view so if when we click on this game development this should expand and this should collapse when we double click on it so this is the kind of functionality that we will try to implement in the next video and we'll not use grid uh, view there or grid layout manager instead we will use linear layout manager so this or uh, inner or child recycler view will be also vertical recycler view so stay tuned for that do subscribe and thank you for watching